Good day, one world fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Adelaide Airport and today I'm going to fly Qantas 737 from Adelaide to Darwin. So I had a really big night last night. So when I enter the lounge, I'm going to take a shower, have some chai latte. When I get on the plane, I'm going to lie down and sleep. I so look forward to that. I'm so knackered. Um, if you look at the vlog at the end of this trip report, you'll see why. And I hope you enjoy this video. So here we are at the Qantas check-in. From 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock, there are three Qantas departures to Perth, Darwin and Brisbane. That's why it's quite busy here. Whereas on the other hand, Virgin Australia has no flights until 11 and there's nobody there. I just passed security. From check-in to security, that all took less than five minutes. Qantas has a club lounge at Alley Airport and with my gold status, I can get in before my flight today. Hello, welcome to the Qantas shower room. So um, the moment I got in, I asked for a towel at the reception and then I went to the coffee station to get a uh, chai latte. It's lovely. It's a bit filthy to have it in the toilet, but oh, I'm tired, whatever. So in the bathroom, we got a coat hook. Very spacious here, it's lovely. A big mirror. And you've got the shower here. You've only got this one in three, sorry, three in one shampoo, conditioner, and body soap. So I actually bought my own. Yeah, gonna spend a good maybe half an hour to half an hour to relax, wind down, have chai. The lounge is pretty empty this morning and the service is always great. Due to COVID restrictions, there's still no buffet here. You can tell the staff what you want and they'll hand it to you. So for breakfast in the lounge, I got a frittata and another chai latte. Before long, it's time to head for Darwin. Here's our aircraft. A 10 year old Boeing 737-800 Victor Hotel, Victor Zulu Lima. This 737 is wearing the new Qantas livery and it's got Wi-Fi. That 737 is heading for Perth. Morning. Hello. Need a headset? No, thank you. This aircraft has TV so you can grab a headset and also a face mask for your safety. Do you have a habit of knowing where you're sitting but you still keep looking at your boarding pass? I noticed that a lot of passengers and I do that. And here's my seat today, 29F, the second last roll in economy. Oxygen will flow without the bag inflation. Have a crew point them out. 
We're still reaching our cruising altitude and I'll quickly connect to the Wi-Fi. So it's really simple, you just click connect and then watch a short advertisement and then you're connected. The Wi-Fi didn't work really great today though. It worked really slow, I was listening to Apple Music and even the music was lagging behind. Oh look who that is, that's our handsome Din from Virgin Australia. I just did a speed test and here's the result. I don't know what those numbers mean so you can explain that to me in the comment. When you travel interstate within Australia, chances are you'll have to complete a travel declaration. Now I forgot to do my Northern Territory border pass before my flight and thankfully there's Wi-Fi on board and I could do it now. Next I'll show you the TV on every seat. So this is the newer in-flight entertainment system that you can find on Qantas, Dreamliners and A330s. There's a good selection of movies to choose from, especially for this short-haul flight. Some of the new movies include Godzilla vs Kong and Quiet Place Part 2. If the aliens in Quiet Place can fly, we'll be all dead now. This system is really great, but it's only when it's complemented by a nice touchscreen TV. The 737 TVs are a bit older and the touchscreen isn't as great as the ones on the Dreamliners. So sometimes you might have to tap the screen twice when you want something. And finally, here's the flight map. And now I'll show you the seat features. There's no cot hook there, I don't know why. Here's the TV, it's adjustable as well. So if you're a taller person, no problem. USB port. A tray table, you can move it back and forth, but you can't fold it. You've got a standard seat pocket right there. Leg room here is about 30 inches, which is okay for a short haul flight, like less than 3 hours. For Adelaide to Darwin, it's a bit more than 3 hours, and if I had a neighbour next to me, I think I would struggle a bit. Underneath, between every two seats, you'll find a power socket. I tried to plug in my iPhone charger into three of the sockets, none of them work. 
Every economy seat comes with a soft adjustable headrest. And finally the recline angle is really great on those 737. The view on route to Darwin is simply stunning. Australia's landscape is so dynamic, every 10 minutes you look out it's a different view. I believe currently we're not too far away from the Flinders Ranges in South Australia. The meal service has begun, today we have two options, either a hot breakfast or a mango yogurt. I went for the hot breakfast, so there's an omelette, a tomato, some potatoes, mushroom, spinach and there's bacon underneath that omelette. Drinks came a bit later, I went for a white tea, mineral water and a still water. So the mushroom is incredibly dry and the spinach, disgusting, I rarely say that to any food. Amlet is amazing, very juicy, so is the bacon. The tea tastes really good, I'm actually curious what tea bags they use, if you know what the brand is please let me know in a comment. Someone just tried to open the door, anyway welcome to Qantas 737 Economy Lounge. Very tiny space here. We're now about halfway through to Darwin, pretty much the centre of Australia. We've still got more than two hours to go, so I'm gonna lie down and have a good nap. Our flight to Darwin today is about 50% full, with most passengers sitting at the front. Our cabin crew can now be seen handing out free surgical masks. The manager of the flight made an announcement recommending us to change the mask every two hours. I was sleeping when the cabin crew handed out Lindt chocolate balls and bottles of water. They were so kind and put it in the seat pocket. So I slept for about two hours and it was so good. Before we land into Darwin, I'm using the Wi-Fi to watch the Expedia Darwin Guide. Expedia makes really good travel guides on YouTube and I highly recommend that. And by the way, the Wi-Fi is now so quick. We'll soon be touching down into Darwin, so let's quickly conclude this trip report with Qantas right here, right now. At Adelaide Airport, I had a really friendly gentleman to check me in. And then in the Qantas Club Lounge, the service was wonderful and the chai lattes were so tasty. When I got on the plane, I received a warm welcome from our cabin manager and it was nice to see that our aircraft today has got TV. It certainly made this slightly longer domestic flight a bit more enjoyable. The Wi-Fi speed was slow at some times and fast at some times, so it was quite inconsistent, but I do really appreciate the fact that it was free of charge. I got one of those newer iPhone charger, which doesn't have a USB cable, so it was a bit annoying I couldn't really charge my phone using the USB port and then the charging points didn't work either. Now for the breakfast, it was really tasty except for the vegetables. The omelette was creamy and the bacon was juicy. 
It was also nice that about halfway through the flight, the cabin crew came around the cabin to give out free surgical mask, and also a free bottle of water and a lint chocolate ball before landing. The service today on the plane was also fantastic, and overall I had a really good flight to Darwin. The ticket price today to Darwin was a lot less than usual thanks to the government half price tickets. I paid $220 for this one-way flight from Adelaide to Darwin. We're now flying over the beautiful city of Darwin. And now here we are, One World Flyer Squad. Thank you so much for watching this trip report. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this one. When you start flying again, please don't forget to tag me with a special hashtag on Instagram so I see where your journey is taking you. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad you made it to this video. I upload a new trip report every Thursday, 12 p.m. Hong Kong time. That is 1.30 p.m. in both South Australia and Northern Territory. I would really appreciate if you could click that subscribe and bell buttons at the same time. So next time when I upload on a Thursday, you'll get notified right away and you're not missing out on another trip report. I'm also available on Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat and I offer memberships on Patreon and YouTube directly. Thanks again so much for watching this trip report. For the rest of the video, I'll let you enjoy the approach and landing into Darwin. And then after that, I'm going to show you a little vlog of what happened the night before this flight. Enjoy! Waiting on the 
the person to drive the error bridge into the aircraft. Uh, I've been told they're only about 30 seconds away, so another couple of minutes, uh, and I can see them now. So uh, another uh, minute or two, and we'll have you disembarking. Thank you for your patience. Fly squad, uh, welcome back to another vlog. So the trip report you saw just now would be what's happening in nine hours time. Right now it's Saturday 10.30 p.m. in Adelaide. My flight tomorrow to Darwin is actually 7 a.m. on Sunday. So that's my housemate John right there and my little daughter. So what we're doing tonight, we're going to go to Heinle and have some fun, have some drinks, have some late supper. Uh, I haven't packed, so I'm a bit screwed, but that should be okay. My plan is, you know, go out, come back maybe three, four o'clock, pack up, and then Uber to the airport. I'm going to shower at the airport, I'm going to do it at home. And film everything around the airport and on the plane after the meal service hopefully I would have three seats to lie down he's on the phone with our uber driver he got lost it's here we are in the city very busy today I feel like I don't know if you can see but there's a pigeon right there. So cool. Should we get a chai latte? So housemate Lee and I are now going to a Chinese restaurant. They close at three, so we're gonna have late supper there. Um, housemate John, he's ditched us because he's got a friend to spend the night with, so just us two now. Oh, that's the one. So now I'm a cameraman. <laughs> So here we are at that restaurant on Guja. So we're on Guja Street and you have no idea how hard it is to explain to my housemate that the restaurant I want to go is that restaurant on Guja. Because they thought, okay, it's that restaurant on Guja, but what was it called? I'm like, it's that restaurant on Guja. Look at the amount of chili on the menu. I'm so screwed. Three, two, one, go. I don't think that this is like a Chinese restaurant. I, just, I think this is like a bar. But there's no way the Chinese have this. Good point. <laughs> yeah. If that doesn't scream Asian, I don't know. But... We're in the middle of nowhere and we are home! <laughs> I'm using my feet to break. <laughs> so I'm now home with my beautiful girl and I have to start packing. Oh my god. She really wants to sleep but I really, I really need to start packing. So it's now 2.40, um, alarm's at 4.45, so a good two hours sleep. See you guys in the morning. 
Mm. Good morning. It's 4.58am Sunday. Everyone's still sleeping. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.